I'm Jess and I'm on here today to talk about my experience in Italy. Um, I started the uh, Italy internship uh, last January with TEFL.ie. Um, I'd been looking for um, an internship program um, within Europe, um, but it was difficult to find one that was also from an Irish company. So I came across uh, TEFL.ie. Um, I had done uh, the CELTA before, so I was a fully qualified English teacher, but I felt like I wanted a bit more practical experience, um, a bit more training, so I felt more comfortable doing an internship to start. Um, the internship uh, I signed up for was six months, uh, and the interview, the the sign-up process was uh, pretty straightforward. It was just filling out an online form, maybe about your preferences, your experience, your background. Um, and then uh, I had a interview. I had two interviews lined up actually. Um, but the first one went really well, so I decided to go with that school. Um, the school is in Treviso, which I am, which is where I am right now. Um, and we did the interview uh, via Skype, so I did it from my home in Ireland um, and I, I didn't have to go to Italy until that job was confirmed. Um, yeah, and then from there, um, the school uh, actually helped me arrange some accommodation uh, before I got there, um, so it was all set up. Um, and I flew over so in January and then uh, the first few weeks I had um, training uh, in the school but also uh, with TEFL Daddy internship program so we uh, so I took a train to Florence which is all paid for so the trains and the hotel um, and me and the other uh, the other people on the internship program were there um, and we did our training together um, in one of the master schools um, and yes he um, basically brought us to the method they use in the school and you know giving us a bit of a refresher in grammar um, so we felt more comfortable uh, starting off our new jobs um, and once we had the training done we could go out for some dinner and drinks in Florence and it was fantastic um, then when I got back, I started um, teaching my classes. Um, I teach um, adults mainly, sometimes I teach teenagers uh, during the week. Um, when it comes to adults, it can be any age, um, from very young to very old. Um, we usually have uh, a group lessons, but we also offer individual lessons um, and uh, we do like workshops or really fun events as well um, so it's really varied in what you can do um, and there's been a really really good uh, social life from it as well so um, the events could be like a karaoke night or um, maybe a pub quiz something really fun um, and yeah, um, I guess I started off with the internship program. They had 15 hours in my contract, um, but actually I was getting more than that um, when I was working. Um, and then just the last few months, um, my contract has been increased to 23 hours um, and I've also been made permanent um, so they can decide Maybe the school decides they're going to extend your contract after the internship or they might make you permanent. So there's a lot of possibilities. Um, and they always provide you ongoing training, even with teachers who've been there a while, they still get opportunities to do some training or workshops, which is really great to upskill as a teacher. Um, so it's been a very positive uh, experience in, in my job as well. Uh, not just in uh, not just in Italy.
Obviously, when I arrived, the pandemic hit in Italy, so I started my first few months teaching in the classroom, and then we had to change to online teaching. Um, but the online teaching has been a very positive experience, um, and I've learned so much from it. And the school were really supportive um, throughout the, the lockdowns and to do with everything, making chicken in on me, checking I'm okay, um, organizing my healthcare. So it's been really, really good. Um, and I really, uh, I really like uh, the online teaching now and it's something I can use in the future. And uh, I also do my own private lessons every now and then, so it's really helped with that also. Okay guys, I'm gonna answer some questions from you. So first question is, is it easy to live on the wage here? Uh, yes, it's doable, absolutely. Um, if you feel you wanna earn a bit more money, um, you can always do private lessons uh, online or some tutoring um, but overall the you know going out for dinner or drinks that's much cheaper than it is in Ireland um, and for me that's a big part of a uh, big part of the lifestyle um, if you want to buy cheaper food you can always go to the markets here much cheaper than the supermarkets um, and the rent uh, is much cheaper than at home so uh, I save quite a bit of money from that um, depends again if you decide to live in the bigger cities like Milan Venice Rome the rent will be much more expensive so um, I think the best option is to live in a smaller town and you can always travel to these big cities you know by train for example, Venice is only 20 minutes by train from from my city. Um, so yeah, it all depends um, what you want to do. But right now it's been been okay for me. And uh, also your your school or your teaching job might decide to, you know, give you maybe uh, bump you up in your salary or, you know, the longer you stay here. So. That's always a possibility as well. Uh, second question, um, is it easy to find accommodation? Um, again, I think this depends where you are in Italy, but for from my experience um, in Treviso, um, as I said before, the school um, actually found my uh, accommodation before I even arrived in Ireland. Um, but I think if if the school can help you out, um, it's definitely doable. You can look online, so there's um, many websites uh, as well. Um, if you can't get the accommodation um, before you before you come here. Um, I recommend maybe getting like an Airbnb, something like that, um, to start off with, just so you can get an idea of where you'll be living and you'll know what's a, a good place to get. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure the, the school you go to will be very happy to help you with all of this as well. And of course, Tefl.ie as well will help with this. Um, I think the most important things to think about when getting accommodation here in Italy is you know, do they have heating? Do they have air conditioning? Because many places mightn't. Um, I, I've i lived and I'm in a new apartment now with no air conditioning. Um, so I'll be buying a big fan instead. But um, some people might really need that air conditioning. And also during the winter here, it can get quite cold in the north of Italy. Um, so you'll need uh, a heating system during the winter as well. Um, also very important um, to get a contract with your apartment so you are able to get residency here. Um, you can't get residency without a contract from uh, your landlord. Um, so make sure that you uh, get that contract before you, uh, before you move in. Um, but the apartments here are really nice. Um, most of them will have balconies out. Um, 
and kind of more uh, older apartments, but really, really nice. Um, I'm really enjoying the apartment I'm in right now. Okay, and then my third question, uh, what is it like solo traveling? It's a really good question. Um, it's fantastic. <laughs> I, I think, you know, I, I traveled to Thailand before this, um, so I had a little bit of experience of solo traveling. Um, uh, in my opinion, um, it kind of works out better um, than if you brought a group of friends, of course, it's totally up to you um, if you want to bring your friends or maybe your partner and um, that can be really fun too. Um, but for me to get the full experience, um, tra uh, traveling solo is really great because it motivates you to make new friends. I think, you know, if you come with uh, some friends already, you don't really make as much of an effort um, uh, even to make friends with the locals here. Um, so yeah um I think you definitely learn more for sure than than you would with uh maybe if you had some people with you um but for me it's been really great and uh I couldn't recommend it enough it's uh you you just become like a different person um it really is like the best education you can get um yeah and it obviously lets you be more flexible what you want to do um where you want to travel to as well so yeah i think it's uh it's a really good experience and everyone should try it at least once in their life